Hi everybody, it's Cindy and welcome to Cindy Loves Jewelry. I am coming to you with a really short, sweet haul. <laughs> and it's not really that sweet, it's just a really short haul. So before I start, I'm just going to show you what I'm wearing today. Um, at the end of this video, I am patching in a video that I taped uh, with my cell phone that is showing you the jewelry that I took out of my booth in Conway because I've closed that booth down and I'm moving that um, stuff around. So I'll be dividing it between a couple of booths and uh, um, it'll probably go on to my yard sale for do it again on Highway 10. So I want to show you the jewelry I'm wearing. I got, I got to Conway and I had no jewelry on so I felt a little naked. So uh, I got these brand new earrings out of my booth there. They're um, One Direction. Uh, they were on a One Direction card and then this necklace that is has a blue stone and little tassels and you notice it's silver tone so so um after we loaded up my booth and got ready to um ate, after we ate lunch we hit the catholic thrift store because that is my favorite place to go to thrifting and so i actually only bought four jewelry items i bought a few toys and a few other things but basically only four jewelry items so I'm just going to show those to you right quick and then we will segue into the other the um, I'm going to mishmash those all together so we'll see how that works <laughs> I'm trying to be fancy so <laughs> okay this is and that is really going to be real hard to see with the way I've got my light there so let's see if that helps let's see there maybe right in there or right over there it is a gold tone uh, white enameled um, really it's no longer than a choker length it's really short and it is signed Monet and it has a Monet ha hang tag and it's really heavy it is it feels like an older Monet piece so it's really pretty so let's see if I put it up against me yeah you can see it better there so really really pretty so I'm have to use Angie's trick and put my things up against a black background <sighs> reaching 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 do I have anything oh, it's not exactly black is it yeah it is but I'm not sure it'll work so I have a black velvet thing if I if I have to find it so but we'll see so um this here you know sometimes you just see things that are so mm, different you think I gotta try to see if I can sell that that's one of these this is one of my Margaret challenges <laughs> so I gotta see if I can sell this and that's not gonna help it show up is it Let's see if I put my hand against it. Does that show better? Yes. So this is a humongous rose earring with, it's got some, and it's plastic. I mean, it's as plastic as plastic can be. Almost the kind of plastic you find in plastic spoons. It has some little metal leaves that are not magnetic. And I'm not sure. They are they are metal. They definitely feel metal, but you can almost see through that plastic, and, and it's pink. And they're clip on. That's the, what what they look like on the back. They have this big honking thing here on the back. So anyway, I'm gonna lay them here. I have when you see me lay things down on my desk, that me I'm measuring it. They are an inch and a half long, high, and a. Nearly two inches wide. Yeah, those are big. <laughs> so they're my challenge to see if I can sell them. Look here, let's see. Wow. <laughs> now that is an earring for sure. Yep, that's an earring for sure. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. Don't ask me. It's just like my hobby. These are a pair of. Yeah, doing that helps. These are a pair of Monet Silver Tone Leaf Earrings. They are clip-on. They 
are San Monet. And they're pretty cool. And they're pretty large too. They are an inch and a half high by a inch and a fourth wide. So they're pretty pretty wide. So now this reminds me, and I don't know what it is, truthfully, I do not know what this is. It reminds me highly of Indian jewelry. And um it has all kinds and colors of rhinestones. There are lavender, green, coral colored, blue colored, purple colored, and then little faux pearls. And it is magnetic, but it does remind me. And I'm I want I'm trying to get it out of the light so that we can see it good. And so far, no. There, you can see that real good. So, does that not remind you of Indian jewelry? Well, let me show you something. I have never, ever in my life seen a pair of earrings with a post. This long. Can you see how long that is? That is humongously long. Let's see if I can measure it. it's over almost three-fourths of an inch long that is huge long that would if you put that in that would hit the back of your head that's just weird I have never seen anything like that but I loved it for the stones it's really really pretty I hate I mean you use the light and then it blinds out your things but see how pretty that is that's really pretty so, and none of the stones were missing. And I was going to tell you, let's see, um, these were a dollar, the roses were a dollar, the Monet's were two dollars, and the Monet necklace was two and a quarter. So, um, so anyway, so thank you for v visiting, and man, I took seven minutes to show you all that stuff. I'm so sorry it took so long. So, y'all have a wonderful day. Have a blessed weekend and enjoy your holy day weekend. So, thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, guys. I'm here in my workroom and um, I'm just wanting to show you uh, these are these are some of the things that I brought out of my booth from Conway. I Today, I went and said goodbye to my friends at Conway. Oops, I'm sorry. Said goodbye to my friends at Conway. And this is a shoebox size tub. It is full of um, necklaces. This is a box oops, full of earrings. Clip, all kinds. Aren't those gorgeous? I believe they didn't sell. Maybe I had them priced too high. What did I have on them? Four dollars. I don't think I had them priced too high. They're gorgeous. So I had some really nice earrings, really nice jewelry. This box here is a box of brooches. No, brooches and bracelets. And um, as you can see, I have some things. This is an old, very old vintage class. I have $17.99. No, $7.99 marked on it. That's the staple. I mean, Hallmark brooches. 1983. Um, brand new brooch. Merry Christmas. Only $4. A brand new plunder piece. $4. I mean, so, I don't think my jewelry was priced too high. I think one of my problems was I had so much of it. So, anyway, this will, um, this is just a bag of, a whole bunch of bangles and cheap stuff. So, I was trying to see, I know there's some brooches in here. I was trying to see, that's a really pretty bangle bracelet. So, there's a nice bro. Oh, no, that's one of those safety pin flag things. Anyway, um, but... 
Anyhow, so this stuff is actually, um, this is kind of cool, this card, it's, um, I don't even know, it's from Puerto Rico, it's a, a pin back pin, it, it's neat, so, but I, I just wanted to share with you this, all this stuff, and, um, show it to you right quick, so, uh, here's a bag of all kinds of mixed beads and stuff for, for crafting a grab bag, so, um, Brand new brooch, no, brand new necklace, real pretty, in the box, has the lid, it's $6.95 on it, so, I lots of bags of beads that I had beaded up, so, anyway, so, I know that my videotaping here like this is not very great, so, anyway, but, um, I'm going to stop this now, and I'm going to add this video into the video I'm doing later. So, thank you. Bye.